what's up y'all i'm lady and welcome back to another vlogmas video so this summer i took a break from posting on this channel but i want to share with you all what i read during the summer so in this video i'm going to share the graphic novels and manga that i've read during the months of june july and august okay so let's get into it First up is Spy Family by Tatsuya Endo. Um, I finished volumes four, five, and six of this manga series, and I watched the first season of the anime series. And I feel like the first season stops at the end of volume six, which is great, and I hear that season two will be out soon. I definitely plan to continue on with this manga series. It is definitely worth the hype. It is fun. I enjoy all the different characters and I'm just excited to see where it goes, to see what happens. Are they able to pull it off? Another manga series that I started and finished was Lost Lad London. This one is by Shema Shinya. And it's only a three volume manga series. So for those of you who may not be quite into manga, this one would be a good one to try. This one follows um, a detective in um, London, of course, and this young guy who may be framed for murder. The mayor is killed on a train, was stabbed, and so this is a murder mystery. I must admit that I solved the mystery in volume two, and I had a break in between reading volumes one and two because my library did not have volume three. I had to wait on the interlibrary loan for that one. So um, I actually, I might as well say I read volumes one and two twice so that I can refresh my memory once I received volume three. But this one was good. I do recommend it. It was a great fast read and I just, I really enjoyed it. So like I said, if you want to dip your toes into a manga series and not get caught up in 15 plus volumes, then Lost Lad London is a good one to try. And I read a nonfiction graphic novel called Grass. The author is Kwam, I'm assuming is that the name, Soup Gentry Kim, um, translated by Janet Hong. This tells the story of a young Korean girl who was tricked into sex slavery for the Japanese army during World War II. So this one was a hard one to read, but I'm glad I did because I was not familiar with the story. And I actually ended up picking this one up randomly while, you know, scrolling at the library. So it was good, but like I said, a hard subject to really get through. Next up was California Dreaming, and this one is by Penelope Bagu. She wrote um, Brazen that I read earlier in the year, and I loved her humor, so I wanted to check out something else by her, and so that's how I ended up with California Dreaming. This one is also, I guess, considered nonfiction as well because it follows the life of Cass Elliot, who was a um, singer and a member of the Mamas and Papas band that was popular in the 1960s. I found this one interesting. I've heard California Dreaming all my life and it's played on a lot of commercials these days. So now I know the history behind it. Um, I felt that uh, Penelope's sense of humor definitely came across in this graphic novel. So it was a, a fun, quick read. So I have three graphic novels that I DNF this summer. That was Ducks, Two Years in the Oil Sands by Kate Beaton. Um, I just, that graphic novel was a chonker. And I just wasn't into it. I found myself, I would read a few pages, put it down for a long time until I just was like, you know what, take it back to the library. This isn't for me. Um, 
yeah, and it's probably a permanent DNF. Um, next was a band book club by Hyun Suk Kim. Um, just wasn't in the mood for it. I read a few pages of it and just ended up taking it back to the library. And the last one was Miss Davis, a graphic biography by Sybil. And I'm not going to mess up that name, but of course you'll see the picture here. Oh my goodness. I did not like this graphic novel at all. And I love to read about Angela Davis. She is um, a local shero for me being here uh, from Birmingham, Alabama, like her. And um, this graphic novel just was not done well at all. It was confusing. It was a um, fake character added to it um to try to make it flow or at least that's what the author said in the beginning do not bother and i read a lot of the comments um on goodreads the reviews and a lot of people had the same complaints as me so that one is definitely a permanent dnf and i'll just look into other things um to find out and read more about Mrs. Angela Davis. So that is it. That's the graphic novels and manga that I completed during June, July, and August of this so year. So that is it for me in this Vlogmas video. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, y'all.